And correspondent Bill Malusian is live in Tacoma, California today. Bill, obviously we've seen a push to this direction since Texas tightened its own border. Now people are looking for other open spots and they're ending up in California. Yeah, Martha, I want to show you something pretty crazy that's happening out here. This is the first time I've ever seen this in my coverage of the border. Take a look up on this mountain right here. This is in Hakuma. This is a huge, rocky, steep mountain. It might be hard. Uh, we're trying to zoom in. There is literally like an ant trail of illegal immigrants coming down this valley, this crevice in this mountain right now, walking down and coming down to the bottom here, waiting to be apprehended by Border Patrol. This line goes all the way from the bottom where I am, all the way to the very top of this mountain towards where those rocks are. We got the drone on it and our ground camera. Again, it might be very hard to see. We have to zoom in pretty far away. Three men made it down the hill already. They came and talked to us. They were all from Kazakhstan, okay? We have a big group of Chinese migrants behind us watching and filming this with their eyes iPhones behind us. This is just how everything is going here in San Diego sector right now. But you can see this steady stream of people who have literally climbed to the top of this mountain and are walking all the way down just to get into this San Diego sector uh, illegally. We've seen a mixture of single adults. We've seen some families bringing their little kids as well. The group you're looking at right now is towards the bottom of the mountain, but this is obviously incredibly dangerous and I've never seen anything like this. Normally we see these migrants take the path of least resistance. I mean, there's literally holes in the wall on ground level where we are that they could have just walked around. But for whatever reason, this group of, I can't even tell how many it is, many, many dozens, maybe over a hundred in total or so, have climbed to the top of this huge rocky mountain and are scaling the side of this mountain now, walking down to this border patrol processing area. We'll keep the drone on that shot and then Thomas, can we, are we able to go over the shoulder real quick? Uh, I know technology is an issue here. Right behind us, we have this camp of migrants from all around the world, Africans, Chinese, uh, men from Turkey that are watching these migrants come down. Some of them are on their phones. Some of them are making phone calls. Some of them are recording. Um, it's just a bizarre scene out here. There are only two single Border Patrol agents here uh, waiting to process this group. We have not seen a whole lot of Border Patrol out here uh, all day long. But Martha, you said it off the top. Texas has locked down. So a lot of this illegal traffic is now moving to the west, to, to blue states like California, like Arizona. Here in California, uh, there is no resistance. There's no razor wire. There's no National Guard. There's no shipping containers. Uh, it is a sanctuary state. Uh, Arizona, no resistance as well. But this is just a bizarre scene uh, as we continue to watch these migrants uh, from really all around the world scaling this mountain. We're going to try to talk to some of them as they as they continue moving down the cliff here. Um, but the three we did talk to that have made it down so far were from Kazakhstan. Uh, just looking at some of the people sitting in the sitting on the ground over there, it looks like there's going to be at least a couple Chinese in that group already. Uh, as this sector continues to be inundated uh, with Chinese migrants, with migrants from all around the world, and I'm looking up at that that rocky cliff again, and there are still people uh, coming down from the very top. So uh, this is my first time down here in San Diego sector with this rugged mountain uh, mountainy terrain, and it's just uh, it's a bizarre sight to see, Martha. It sure is, Bill. Um, it, you know, it's got to take, whenever you look at a, a mountain like that and you think about hiking it or climbing it, uh, it takes hours longer than you might anticipate. So give us a sense of how long it's taking. I have no idea what's on the other side of this mountain, what the terrain is uh, as they go up. And also, Bill, if you could fold this in, so you've got Chinese migrants, Chinese people who just crossed over, and did they come this way? And are they're turning around and taking videos of the other people who are entering the country legally? That's right. I'm watching a group of them to my left right now. Uh, they're videoing them on their iPhones. They're making phone calls uh, and they're all looking up at the mountain just like we are. I think they're kind of shocked at what we're seeing. What's on the other side of that mountain is Mexico. Uh, the border wall is I don't know, maybe like a mile behind me right now. It's lower on the ground. There's no border wall way up there on that cliff. Um, so at some point, this, these migrants that you see coming down the, the mountain, they climb that mountain on the Mexican side. Now that they are over the top, 
They are officially in the United States and they're snaking their way down the mountain here to this border patrol processing area. So all these people you're going to see streaming in behind us, they're technically uh, in the United States now. Uh, we just can't really tell how many it is. I mean, there are still people coming down from the top of the mountain. There may be still more uh, coming from, on the, from coming over from the Mexican side right now. But uh, again, we've been watching for the last 15, 20 minutes or so as this steady stream of people uh, just comes wandering down this huge rocky cliff. And I don't have to express how dangerous it is. I mean, it is very steep. We're starting to get more of them coming down on the ground right now. Um, in a little bit, we're going to go over and talk to some of them. But uh, th this sector continues. It looks like, look at that. There's one person. Is that someone carrying a newborn infant right there, Thomas, in the, uh, in the uh, yeah, with the jeans on? And uh, it looks like an elderly woman with a, so uh, it looks like an elderly woman just climbed that entire mountain with a baby and a blanket in her arms and somehow uh, made it down. That is just remarkable to see. Um, I'll step out real quick. Thomas, you can see there's literally just two Border Patrol agents on hand here um, to take all of these migrants into custody. Agents continue to be um, completely outmanned out here. They're motioning for people to uh, come sit down where they are. They were yelling at some of the people up on the mountain earlier. It was hard to make out what they were saying, but uh, I'm looking up at the top of the mountain again. There are still more people coming. Uh, just seems to be a never-ending no. line right now, and it is a uh, it is a remarkable sight to see. It's hard to tell where some of these folks are from unless I were to get up close and uh, chat with them, which we'll do here in a moment. But yeah, there's a woman um, with the baby. We just saw welcome to by. San Diego sector, Martha. Yeah, welcome. Something, something uh, you new know, on the border. <laughs> you got to wonder week. what the folks in uh, San Diego are going to start feeling about this when when these numbers start to escalate. Because as we said, it's made it more difficult. Governor Abbott has really clamp down on, on his border. So what, what happens to these people now? And they're coming from China and Kazakhstan. So they're, they're obviously taking plane, airplanes to Central America, and then they're working their way across or in Mexico City or wherever they're coming into, right? Yeah, so uh, that's a question that we often get is how are people from China getting here to the southern border? Typically, they're flying into uh, a South America country that has looser visa rules or regulations. Um, then they kind of country hop until they get to uh, Guatemala. Then they get into southern Mexico, typically Tapachula. They get issued uh, humanitarian visas by the Mexican government. That allows them to then travel within Mexico um, at free will. They immediately get on trains and buses and head right to the northern border. Sometimes what we've heard is the Chinese will fly into Baja, California. Then they will take buses up to the border. Uh, but for whatever reason, the last few months or so, Martha, the cartels have decided to start pushing massive amounts of Chinese nationals across the border right here in the Hakumba area. This is a random remote area about an hour east of San Diego. We're standing right off a major interstate right now. This is Interstate 8 right to our left here. So everybody driving by to our left, if they look up on the mountain, all the locals out here, that's what they're going to see. So uh, it is a very bizarre scene. Indeed. Um, and, you know, what, what's your sense of how these California border officials feel about the fact that the action is shifting even more dramatically into their sector? Mm -hmm. They're not surprised whatsoever. Every Border Patrol agent we've talked to says if you take a strict posture, you're going to get results from it. And look at what Texas has done over the last couple of months. They've essentially locked down an Eagle Pass. Eagle Pass used to be the most busy part of the border. Back in December, they were getting between three and 4,000 illegal crossings per day. Now they're lucky if they get 30 or 40 in a day. All those shipping containers taking over the park, kicking the federal government out, putting the National Guard there. It has created an unwelcoming posture to the migrants. So they're now shifting west. Mm -hmm. They're going to Arizona and California. Uh, blue state governors who really aren't taking any sort of a state approach to stop illegal immigration. I mean, California, sanctuary state, offering all sorts of benefits to illegal immigrants, including at the start of this year, became the only state in the country to start offering health care, taxpayer funded health care to illegal immigrants. So it's really not a surprise that um, a lot of them would start flocking this way. Yeah. It's extraordinary. Um, looks like a beautiful day there in California where they're getting a whole lot of new neighbors who are coming across that mountain. Um, it, difficult terrain, to be sure. Bill, thank you very much. Yep. If you get um, a, a chance to talk to anybody, let us know, and we'll, we'll come back down there. Thank you very yep. much. Will do. Thanks.
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.